Hi, I'm Lauren and welcome to the first Chaos Computers webisode. In the following 10 installments, we'll be showing you how to build your own computer. Today in our first installment, we'll be installing a CPU. Think of the CPU as the brain of the computer. All the work the computer does is done by the CPU. The faster your CPU, the faster your computer. There are two major manufacturers of CPUs, Intel and AMD. Intel dominates the CPU market and therefore our focus at Chaos is largely on Intel processors. CPUs come in different sockets. For AMD, there are currently only two socket types, AM2 and AM3. Intel uses sockets 775, 1156, and 1366. Generally, the more entry-level CPUs use socket 775, and the high-end use socket 1366. For our computer, we have chosen an Intel Core i3 processor, which is a dual-core socket 1156 processor. Bear in mind that both of the Intel socket types work in very much the same way. This instruction is pretty much universal for all Intel sockets. On the motherboard, the CPU socket is protected by a plastic cover, which we will need to remove before we install the CPU. To begin, lift the socket latch by sliding it out and up like so. Then lift the locking bracket up so that the socket pins are exposed. Carefully unclip the plastic cover from the locking bracket. Now pick up the CPU. You will notice the bottom of the CPU is flat, with many gold connectors. Find the two notches on either side. Drop the CPU gently into place. Remember, it only fits in one way, so don't force it. Close the locking bracket over the CPU and close the socket latch. This will be quite difficult, so don't be afraid to use some pressure. Lock it by pushing down and in. Because the CPU works very hard to run the computer, it gets quite hot, so we need to chill it out by using a specially designed cooling unit. On the bottom of the cooling unit, you will see a layer of grey cooling paste. Positioned around the heatsink are four clips, which hold the heatsink in place. Drop the heatsink carefully onto the CPU, fan side up. Ensure the fan power wire can reach the fan power connector on the motherboard. Press with some pressure down on the clips until each clip clicks into place. Now simply connect the power lead on the fan to the power plug on the motherboard. Your CPU is now installed. In our next video, we'll show you how to install the motherboard. Remember to rate this video on YouTube and share it on Facebook. Cheers.